Hey everyone, just thought I'd share this with you. This is my latest project. It's a dry cell. And you know what they say, the highest form of flattery is imitation. And yes, I have reproduced a scarecrow cell. Dry cell. Uh, you know, it's got a good thing going on there, and uh, I thought I'd put it to use in a vehicle. So, here it is. Everyone says, well, just give me the numbers. I want to know the numbers. So that's what I'm going to start off with here real quick. Uh, we have 31 plates. I'm running 7 cells, 4 neutrals per cell at 12 volts. The plates are 20 gauge 316 stainless steel. That's a plate right there. Uh, Plates are 6x6, six six. the gaskets are PVC shower pan liner, uh, 16th of an inch thick. Uh, my clamping material is uh, half inch acrylic, 9 inches square, and I'm holding it together with 12 quarter inch bolts. Uh, right now I'm running 3 grams of sodium hydroxide per 3 liters of distilled water. 3 liters is how much the cell uh, in the reservoir hold. Uh, cold, it runs about 16 amps, and warm, it runs about 30 amps. At 22 amps, the efficiency is about 3.6 mmw, or milliliters per minute per watt. Um, if you haven't already seen how this cell works from Scarecrow Labs, the fluid starts here. The gas and the fluid escape from the top of the plates. They bubble up there, becoming gas and fluid flow up, go into my reservoir here. Uh, the, the bubbles bubble up and exhaust out here, and the water comes down and returns to the back of the cell and then only to bubble up again up through here and exhaust so it's it's a cycle now if you might be wondering why this ruler is sitting here it's because if this line drops below or is not a downhill slope to the cell it stops pumping so I need that ruler there to hold up the line um, I'm running a second bubbler the reason for this is is because if there's any sodium hydroxide vapor or mist that would bubble up out of the top of the reservoir, I want to be able to scrub it out here and make sure it's nice and clean before it goes into my vehicle. Um, so the exhaust line here is going into this container here. Um, it produces about 900 milliliters at about 21 amps. Right now I'm running at 19.7 amps and you can see it produces pretty well. However, um, I think what I might do is uh, take this one apart and restack it with five neutrals and then increase my electrolyte because I am having a problem with heat. After about two hours, it goes from about 15 amps all the way up to 30 amps after about a couple hours. So I'm thinking I might have a little better luck if I run five neutrals and a uh, higher electrolyte. This is my HHometer. Got a reflection there to measure my gas. It's nothing, but I'm not going to bore you guys with. Uh, watching it slowly rise up. It's nothing special right now at this point. Um, my goal right now is to run this cell at between 20 and 25 amps at the highest efficiency I can achieve. Um, I was hoping for somewhere around one and a half uh, liters per minute uh, production. Well, We'll see. I'm also going to experiment with um, high voltage DC um, across the cell and I will post more videos on 
uh, my success. So I hope this basically covers everything. Um, Scarecrow, like I said, good job on the design in the first place. So I thought I'd just rebuild yours. Um, go ahead and post a comment or whatever. Uh, this is Pete Dog signing out. Thanks, guys.